so you can actually hear the vibration sound. It, this is the armature actually trying to um, uh, click into your uh, coil. So we're increasing voltage. And roughly about, where are we? 69.4 volts. Our armature now got pulled in by the coil at that voltage. And it typically will stay in place until we have uh, our 120 volts supply, okay? So it'll stay there until that point, okay? So just to redo this again, I'm increasing the voltage to my armature and I just want to show you for example where we are with voltage and you might actually see typically the sound stresses out the armature but right now the armature is actually vibrating in there trying to make connection You can see it chattering right there. And as I increase the voltage, the armature finally just kicked in. Okay, one more time. I'm just gonna increase the voltage slowly. You'll see the armature starting to vibrate and trying to kick in. And when it hits that certain voltage in around 70 volts, now we have locked in the voltage to our relay coil all right so whenever you hear the sound of a relay making that vibration that chattering sound it's kind of a little bit unnerving that um, the reason that is is because there's not enough uh, voltage there's insufficient voltage going to the coil in order to pull the armature in okay so a, a relay that's making noise uh, for one reason or another, there is not enough voltage uh, to your coil. Okay, so I just want to show you that. Make sure we turn all of this off. And we're just going to unplug all this. Okay. We're going to disconnect the voltmeter. Put that one aside. And we're going to continue with the next portion of our lab here. Okay. Just disconnect some of the components. So we measured roughly around 70 volts is where we had our lock-in voltage for our relay over here, okay? So next what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a look at objective two, exercise one in your lab. And what we're going to do, actually I'm just gonna set this guy over here. What it's asking us to do is to draw a schematic with two normally open push buttons in series connected to a lamp. So again, just like um, previous labs that we've done, your schematic will uh, have a vertical line on the right representing line two and a vertical line, sorry, vertical line on the left being line two, vertical line on the right being your identified. And we're gonna connect all this up. So we're going to use some switches that we've used in the past. Okay, these switches here, basically start and stop. So the green buttons, the start ones, um, indicate a normally open push button. Sorry about that. So our green buttons will be normally open. Our red buttons will be normally closed, all right? So it's looking for two normally open. We're gonna use both of these green buttons to activate a light and there is our light, our blue light special. All right, so what we're going to do, we wanna be connected in series. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with line two and I expect you to be able to draw a schematic symbol of what we're doing right here, okay? We're gonna come from line two our power supply 
and we're going to feed into our first normally open push button. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to come out of that normally open push button, come into the second normally open push button, come out of second normally open push button. Now they're in series with each other. Connect to our light and our light back to identified to our bench. And I know you guys were asking me at what point is this guy going to make sure we're safe and bond everything back to our supply. I'm glad you asked because that's what I'm doing here right now. Just seeing if you guys were thinking. So I'm just making sure we're working safe and connecting the bond connection all the way back to power supply. There we go. So we want to see the result of connecting two normally open push buttons to a light to a 120 volt power supply. Again, here we're not using any relays just yet. We're just looking at the functionality of push buttons. Okay. So I'm going to power this up and you're going to see right now our light is not energized. So what happens if I just hit the first uh, normally open button? Nothing at all. What happens when I hit second normally open push button? Nothing at all. Well, how do I get this light to energize? Typically, because both of these are normally open push buttons, they start from normally open and when I depress them, when I put a force on them, they go from normally open to close. Normally open to close. So the only way I can energize this light here is if I push both of these normally open push buttons simultaneously to see that they both go to a closed position. And there we go. If I let go of one of these, I have broken the circuit like that. I have to have both, both of these momentary push buttons depressed in order to make the light energize, okay? So you should be able to draw a schematic of two normally open push buttons in series with our light bulb, okay? I'm just gonna shut this off, de-energize. The second part of this is asking us um, to connect the circuit with the two push buttons in parallel with each other. And I want you to be able to redraw a schematic now having two normally open push buttons in parallel. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do to reconnect this up. I've taken my power supply into my first uh, normally open push button. Instead of coming out of it to this side, I'm going to have to parallel them. So now I am simultaneously going into both normally open push buttons. And then I'm going to take another wire and connect the output of this one to the output of this one. So now the two outputs are in parallel with each other. I have the two inputs in, in parallel here, and I have the two outputs in parallel here. Okay. We'll see what happens. Okay, so I'm gonna energize the circuit. Nothing yet. I'm gonna depress normally open push button one. That makes a connection. So I have a connection because they're both connected in parallel. It's going through, I have made a connection from my power supply, so right here, all the way through to my second switch, parallel connection all the way through. Same thing if I hit push button number two, same thing happens. That, I, that happened for push button one. So either push button now, because they are in parallel with each other, will activate the light. 
what happens if I push both of these normally open push buttons simultaneously? Let's see. Now I have actually two different paths for current to go through each one of these switches simultaneously to my load, okay? So I can let go of one, let go of the other, but when I let go of both of them, now there is no path for current to flow through either push button to my load, okay? We're just gonna de-energize that. So I do expect you to be able to have both of those drawings, schematic drawings done, two normally open in series, and for example here, two normally closed, as uh, two normally open in parallel, okay? The next procedure, I'm just gonna take these apart here, right from the source, just take these apart. Okay, so. I'm just gonna leave the connection to the light fixture over here and from the load over here. So the second procedure is asking us to draw a schematic for two normally closed push buttons in series with each other, okay? So again, I expect you to draw a schematic of this, two normally closed push buttons in series. So they would be our red buttons that are normally closed. So I'm gonna come from my power supply and feed into switch one. I'm gonna come out of switch one, make it in series with switch two. 